Oh hey everybody. It's your favorite secret Ducatista. Your sweet boy. Yammy new. On this absolutely beautiful day here in Austin, Texas. Loading up on some content because we just got word today that uh, party's over. We're going into full lockdown, full shelter in place mode due to this COVID-19 stuff. Pretty scary stuff, guys, not gonna lie. It is uh, getting pretty hairy out there. Uh, lots of places shutting down, sheltering in place, quarantining. Uh, but we will keep on here. We're getting some vlogs ready for you guys. The content will not stop. Uh, the motorcycle content probably will. At least vlogging on the bike type of stuff. <laughs> So, before we get started today, please do me a favor, guys. We just crested over 600,000 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. I cannot believe we have 600,000 sweet, devoted Yammy noobs uh, on here. Uh, but I would love it if you smash subscribe, and I would also love it if you went down and checked out our giveaway. Go to yammynoob.co and uh, get yourself signed up to win a Triumph Street Triple R, a KTM XSR, nope, KTM Duke 390, and a Yamaha XSR 700. <laughs> getting my bike switched up here but so please go and check that out it should be pretty cool uh, you can join our discord server it is a great spot to catch up with me i'm there on every day having some fun chatting with folks and having a good time so the topic of today's video is uh kind of timely kind of appropriate for the times we're in and also i don't know when this video is going to go live but i am recording this on march 24th so if this comes out way way later and uh we are all in an apocalyptic state maybe this video will come in handy so the topic of today's video is what bike is best for the apocalypse and what bikes aren't best for the apocalypse. So I wanted to think about this topic obviously because I was thinking about it myself. I was like, huh, if I had to get away on a motorcycle, what kind of bike would I want? And I'll tell you one thing, uh, I certainly wouldn't want to get away on my desert sled. Uh, not to say that I don't love this motorcycle, but I'd want something a little bit lighter, a little bit more reliable, a little bit more simple perhaps. Uh, something that sips a little less fuel would be good. So I think a great starting point for apocalypse bikes would be a dual sport. Dual sports are, you know, like your WR250s, your DRZ400s, they're motorcycles that can go on and off road. Why would it be good to go on and off road during an apocalypse? Well, you never know when you're gonna need to tackle some single track and rip it up with your friends during the apocalypse. Now I'm just kidding, of course, it would be important during the apocalypse to get away on a dirt road because maybe traffic roads like this, uh, you know, although they still will exist, they, they might be held up by, you know, people marauding around in trucks full of guns or something, or, you know, checkpoints. So it's good to get away on a dirt trail. Uh, it's gonna be less impacted by people. So that's always a good thing. So I think something like, uh, honestly, a DRZ400 would be pretty swell. But I also think that a true blue dirt bike might be better because if you can swing something with a carburetor, a Kickstarter, uh, you're gonna have fewer electronic problems. Whoa! Electronic problems. Whoa! Crossing that double yellow right there. Going at it. Why you gotta eat the line like that, bro? So much space. So much space. And me of all people saying that. <laughs> so yeah, I think something with the carburetor, a Kickstarter, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, I think anything that is uh, sporty or Italian would be a bad idea. <laughs> um, an MV Augusta F4 would be a terrible apocalypse bike. Uh, you're just asking for trouble with something like that. Not a good idea. Um, what else would be a terrible apocalypse motorcycle? Well, a Daytona 675R would probably be just as bad in the apocalypse as an MV Augusta. Certainly would think so. But the other part of me thinks that maybe an adventure bike would be really good to have off uh, during the apocalypse. Um, because what you want is something that can travel really long distances. A dirt bike might not be the best option because it has a really limited fuel capacity. So maybe if you kitted out a dirt bike with a big like rally adventure tank, maybe that would be pretty good because then you're lightweight and you've got a lot of gas on you, which is nice. Um, but an, an adventure bike might make a really good option just because, you know, that's a bike that you can ride for really, really long distances, which might be useful as you're making your way through each dystopian town, uh, getting away from the infection, the apocalypse, the zombies, whatever it might be. Um, that would be pretty sweet. But to be honest, I think the best apocalypse vehicle might be like a camper or something like that. Maybe an RV? Then again, it's kind of heavy. I gotta talk to a doomsday prepper and see what they think, because apparently I don't have any ideas about this. I think i definitely stray away from anything European, honestly, just in general, even for the dirt bike situation. I think a KTM would be a bad idea. Go for something like a Yamaha or a Honda. 
Hell, a CRF250L with a rally tank, that's all you need, man. You don't need performance in a time of need like that during an apocalypse. You don't need to do, you know, sick jumps and bang out a ton of horsepower on that single. You need something dead simple, dead reliable, that's gonna get you from A to B and is lightweight. The downsides about a dirt bike during the apocalypse is like, really limited load capacity. That's why I was thinking an adventure bike might be better because they have those panniers and they have the soft luggage options and all kinds of stuff. That might be good to chuck on there. Maybe you could get one of those. It's so nice out right now. It just This is the best time of year to go ride. And apparently you have shelter in place until April 13th. So I'm going to try to backlog a good amount of motorcycle content for you guys to watch so you don't go crazy. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm jumping on this topic just because it's, you know, timely and I want to get some views. I genuinely wanted to make a video talking about this. Zach Quartz and Ari Henning actually made a, a really cool video on uh, the old... Uh, throttle out videos on Motor Trend where they, they made apocalypse ready motorcycles. They had similar thoughts that I had. So the reliable, dual sport, lightweight, seems to be the best apocalypse vehicles for you guys to choose. Um, let me know in the comments below, what apocalypse ready vehicle would you choose in a time like this? Uh, personally, I mean, the roads are all so empty and clear that I wouldn't mind a super bike at this point just because I could actually get to use the thing. It would be pretty sweet. Uh, all the highways are basically empty right now. I don't know if you guys seen it out in LA, but there's like nobody out anywhere because um, they have a huge shelter in place and lockdown set up over there right now. So uh, all the stump boys and all the super bike boys are out there. Just, just come. Um, I can't say that on YouTube, so I'm going to bleep that out. <laughs> Clearly can't say that on YouTube. Two teenage girls in this Lexus. I am trying to pass. But there's nowhere to pass. So sometimes you just got to be stuck. Lexus with two chicks in them. Got a lot of bikes out on this road. Everybody's, I mean, it's weird. People are treating it like it's a staycation, but it's certainly not a staycation. The the pandemic is real. The apocalypse is nigh. Uh, that's why I'm giving you guys those bikes. So guys, it does really suck that for the next couple of weeks, uh, lots of us are going to be riding a lot less. Um, Shaf actually put out a really good video about this, where I think in the first couple of days of this pandemic, you know, everybody was like, oh my God, it's going to be so great. We can ride our bikes because it's social distancing. There's going to be nobody on the roads. But at the same time, if you, if you really stop to think about it, and he made a really good point about this. What he said, and I agree, is at this moment right now, I think it's best if we limit our motorcycle riding because it is a dangerous activity. And all like, you know, medical facilities right now in those kinds of places like Austria and Europe, they're, they're really overrun right now with coronavirus cases. And you know, if you're adding to the problem by being there when you don't need to be, that's just silly. You know, if you don't have to utilize healthcare services right now for an injury, uh, don't. You know what I mean? So don't do something that's going to exacerbate the problem. Uh, us here in Austin, since I'm, I'm still following the rules here, we don't have a strict shelter in place until 11:59 uh, tonight, and I will be abiding by those rules. I will not be jumping out on my motorcycle as much as I want to be. We just finished setting up our new office. Uh, here in Austin. We've got all the bikes up there. We've got a new studio space. Uh, we're getting ready to expand. It's super exciting times for Yami Noob, and yet now we're all stuck in place, which, uh, which really sucks. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's, you can't control global factors. You can't control the macro. you got to focus on the micro and what you can control. And what I can do right now is make sure that you guys get great videos while we can still make them, and we all keep having fun over here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Quick look at the apocalypse bikes. What bikes do you think would be work well in an apocalypse? I actually think that maybe you guys have some better options than I do. You have time to think of it, time to sit there and write your comments and edit them carefully and craft your message. So please do leave me a comment down below. Be sure to read all of them as I'm quarantined and have nothing to do. And uh, would love to see your opinions and comments. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to check out yamadoop.co, join our Discord server, get signed up to win some free motorcycles. Pretty sick. Triumph Street Triple R, XSR 700, and KTM Duke 390 all up for grabs. Click the link down below. It's going to be pretty awesome. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. With mighty strength, the king of bikes, it weighs like 800 pounds. If you must, take no kills, it's still a suit.